73 Central Radio Check. I just basically didn't have any clue what it was like other than what you'd see in the movies. You know, Shawshank Redemption. The old Thomas in prison was probably what I was expecting. I was thinking more of a columns of cells after cell after cell. Kitchen workers, red cards! I thought possibly they'd be all behind cells the whole time. And everyone's just walking around. Basically, it's their home. Staff out 402. My name is Vicki Sheehan. I've been a correction officer at Maine State Prison for three years and five months. I mean, I think it's important work. I mean, I think that you, you need to feel good about what you're doing, and I feel good about what I'm doing. Um, you know, being able to talk with people who, you know, are kind of stuck here. You know, some, some of the prisoners um, are here for life. That's important to know that, you know, some people are never going to be able to go outside these doors. But then the other people, they'll be getting out. Um, and that, you know, I... I I would hope people would want to be encouraging to people and to say, try not to draw a line between us and them. I mean, that, that's important to me. Whether, I mean, I hope it would be important to future people. But, um, you know, and having respect for, for, you know, for each other, including your fellow officers, your supervisors, and um, the prisoners as well. The main Department of Corrections is looking for individuals with high moral and ethical values. We're looking for individuals with strong communication skills and with strong work ethic. And you do not have to be a, an Olympian uh, to meet that criteria. So it doesn't matter who you are, um, we're interested in you if you meet the criteria that would be beneficial to our department. The main Department of Corrections has facilities across the state, uh, ranging from the York area all the way to the Machias area, all the way to Charleston to Warren. You find openings at one of those facilities that is seeking, um, seeking staff, and you fill out an application, you submit that application. Uh, you have to be a minimum of 18 years of age and have a high school diploma or GED. Uh, you would take a written test, you would take a physical agility test, and we actually, as a department, uh, complete a criminal history check. Uh, if you successfully complete all those components, um, then you'll be considered for employment. The Department of Corrections Correctional Officer Academy takes place at the Maine Criminal Justice Academy, which is in Vassalboro. That academy will last approximately five and a half weeks. The classes are being instructed by by staff from the different facilities. Classes may range from uh, security threat groups, which is gangs, unarmed self-defense, interpersonal communication, body searches, motivational interviewing, and area searches, to give a few examples. Going here, sliding up the elbow, and I'm going to maintain that wrist lock, and I'm going to step through, and lock him up behind me. Now you see where his elbow is. So the staff leave the academy after they've graduated. They go to the facilities for the on-the-job training, and they're taking the theory that was taught and they're putting it into practice. Basically, that's the part where you actually step into the prison and you start, you know, learning what you're going to actually be doing as a job. And again, we had great people that would tell you, okay, this would be what you'd look for. So they'd tell you the proper way to, you know, do your job for the safety of yourself and the other prisoners that you're keeping an eye on. I mean, you need to be able to say, no, stop doing that, you can't do that here, you know. 
people that have had kids, I mean, they, they would be fine here because they're used to saying, you know, don't do that. I mean, I feel the prisoners are respectful. I mean, they're, they'll hold the door for you, they'll, you know, say thank you and things like that. So, I mean, not 100%, but just do your job and, you know, keep an eye open on, on things. <laughs> In talking to staff, after they've been on the job for, for even a short period of time, um, it, is, it is obvious that, that these staff have pride in what they do for work, that they're representing the state of Maine, they're protecting the public, they're serving the public, um, and, and even the communication that they're having, whether it's with other staff or the prisoners, and the fact that they're making, they're making a difference. I've had a lot of support, and I think that's important for women to know that, that they would get support from fellow officers, women and men. I just have a positive feeling that it would be good for anyone who's looking for a job. As long as you're trained and you know what to do and you do it, then anyone can do it.